I got another package that I have no clue what's in there. Well, maybe a bit, but I'm not sure. Oh wait, I know. I know it already. These are some headlights. Well, spotlights, rather. They are pretty small though. Surprises me a bit though. But that's good. If I can open the damn tape. There isn't a clear. Oh wait. That way. Okay. They are small. Okay. Um, the battery well, the small battery I already used in that potato cannon. So, what battery shall I use then? I can still actually use this one. My small potato can, which I will be making some videos of it later. Just remote firing and everything, so that's pretty funny though. Uh, we have the other side of the connector still, so why not use it? Uh, so these bits are a bit longer, so I just can put them on there. And I'm pretty curi curious how bright they are. They should be pretty bright because of, if I'm correct, they were 10, 10 watts a piece. So come on, click on. Okay, that's pretty bright. Okay, so. They can also flicker, so that's a good or something bad. But they are bright. It is bright. So tonight I'll just do a beam test now. And now then I'll have a look how far these things go. So yeah. But for now it looks pretty good. And they do get warm pretty fast though. Hmm. Really fast. But it's sitting ne next to one my wheel with a lot of wind, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. So well. It also came with a mounting bracket, but these screws are probably not long enough near. So I don't have anything with that. So I'll just have to look where I should mount these. Then well, why not? And we'll see how long these things will survive. Since it's getting pretty hot already. It shouldn't really get above 80 degrees, so... I'll see how that ends. But yeah, it is bright, so... Uh, I'll show you tonight how bright, so see ya. Okay, I'm outside now and as you can see, it's pretty bright. It doesn't shine really, really far. It is pretty far though. Because of, well, for a moped or scooter it's more than enough. The ring around it, the plastic also lights up. So I think I'm just going to paint it black since it's pretty, it's pretty irritating. Also, it's a bit more blinding for the other people on the side, so... 
Well, it is good for visibility though, so... In that way, it is good. But um, well, I still don't know how far the trees exactly are, but... It is quite a distance. Uh, for this kind of light, for a headlight, you don't need that much. And this is a spotlight, so it at least gives way more light than the factory one. So in that way, it's pretty good. So yeah, let's round it for this one. As you can see, the OLED M3XS UT Javelot still really kicks out the most light, and this isn't really a surprise, but still. It is wicked bright, so, and as you can see, it just, sh it just goes, it goes on and on, so, well, it's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, um, well, I have the light, this is the uh, same perch and this is the voltage, so, this, the light still has three modes, so it's rather nice. So this is low. So that is 0 0.2 amps at 12.66 low. This is high. At 1.14 amps. 12 dot well it's climbing down so let's keep it at the same figure because if it still goes down of course so that come up a bit it's an old car battery so okay It's really annoying, but so do it. So do it five five. Well, let's make it that and keep this one. Same. Okay. So then we're going to multiply it all. We know so that two times twelve dot six six and my calculator is doing funny I guess two thousand and wait yeah, I don't trust it in the damn thing. Okay, so now I got my trusty one. So let's still do so the two times. So same. This one times a bit better. Uh, it should be uh, the wattage. Let's not make it too so accurate. It isn't needed at all. Okay, so with the figures, so this is low, this is high, and this is strobe. So at 14.4 watts, it isn't really the 30 watts they claimed it would be. Of course, when you got a bit higher. Uh, oh, wait, look. There's a little misconception about that thing. 9 to 12 watts. Now it's around 14.4 watts. That is pretty accurate. But the light power, they're talking about the light power. So the list listing on Banggood or it was eBay. So still the listing isn't right. Well the light power is 30 watts. So it does give a bit more than it's claimed on air, so that's good. 12 to 60 volts, 60 volts. Meh. I wouldn't trust that. It probably would. 
Ich das auf. Ich mich auch gesehen. Da ist ein Regulating Circuit on there and everything, so. You should be able to trust it, I guess. But for the size of the LED, it does get pretty hot fast, so. Well. But for this, it looks fine, I guess. So, yeah. And I'm probably going to focus it again. The tape off this ring, because if I don't want to get. All the light on the side, it isn't needed. I want to look in front of me, not on the side, so I get blinded by this light. If you're sitting on the back of it, that light and... You know. When it's dark, you don't want that in your field of sight the whole time, so... That's right away, but I'll just tape it off, so that ain't a problem. But for this, the figure as well. For the 12 watts, it's a bit more, so it would kick out a bit more light, I guess. Or it's just uh, the circuit itself. Oh, wait. Or just the uh, circuit itself, it's also possible. It's, it's dissipating a bit of current to drive the LED. The LED itself is actually using 12 watts, so it's also a possibility. But for the rest, well, it's a rather nice light. It does throw out pretty far. The only downside now is when you fit on your handlebar, handlebar like this, you can only adjust it like this. So if your handlebar goes a bit to that side, it's you can't really straighten it out. Or when you mounting it on your fork, the suspension fork front, then it's of course it's a bit tilted upwards so you can't really adjust it that way so that's a downside I guess but, yeah. so I have to think of a bracket to mount this but when I have it mounted I can just do an outdoor test like always so uh, yeah see ya